I'm trying to give the people content. So why my phone always running out of storage? It's giving me Puerto Rican. This is the completed look. What's poppin'? It's your girl Robin, and we're back at it again with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I installed this beautiful water wave wig that I got from Miss Lynn Hair. I'm gonna show you guys how I installed it step by step. But before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the love that you guys showed me on my last video. I really appreciated all the comments, everything. You guys are amazing. So thank you guys. Shout out to you. If you guys can go ahead and like the video, liking my videos helps boost me in YouTube's algorithm and helps more people see my content so without further ado we're gonna get straight into the video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's get into it i'm about to go ahead and clean off the perimeter of my hairline this is very 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 important when you're doing a wig install so now that the perimeter of my hairline is clean i can go ahead and put my wig on and kind of like map out like what i'm gonna do i have a low hairline so you can see that i applied my wig cap to cover my edges on both sides. And I actually ended up cutting the wig, like cutting into the wig. And I'll show you guys that part. So as you can see, I have it curved up in the middle because my hairline curves back in the middle. And then it's kind of out on the side. I just separated that hair out and braided it. And I cut it on both sides. And then I went back and razored off that piece of hair. So I just have these pieces on the side left. And that's just gonna help me bring the wig down where I need it to be. And I'm gonna cut more of the side once I have it glued down to my head. My hairline comes down Really close to my eyebrows but not that close girl this is a trick that i like to do so once you part out how much you need to take out you can put your comb there and lift it up if you can still see your um wig cap that means that you pulled too much hair out and you need to add some in to cover it up as you guys can see that's pretty much good so that's about how much i have to cut off for that side all right y'all so i'm nervous i'm scared um i'm gonna go ahead and cut off my ear tabs that's what i'm gonna do So that fits comfortably behind my ear. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other side and then I'll come back when I start applying my glue. All right guys, so I went ahead and cut my ear tabs off. Now I just have the wig flipped back because I'm about to go in and put my bold hold. This is the bold hold extreme cream. It works pretty well, I like it, I mess with it. I'm gonna be going in and doing three layers. So we're just gonna go in. I just got done applying my first layer as you can see I let it dry down completely clear I'm gonna go with my second and third layer and then once I'm done with my third layer I'm gonna come back and show you guys y'all I am scared I don't know why I'm so nervous right now I can do this I know what I'm doing I can do this okay if you believe in me drop a comment down below because I know I can do it I know I can do it okay This looks literally so stupid, but my head, I don't know if my head is too big for this wig or what the case is, but I have to like have them both, I have to have both sides pulled down like taut for it to feel like it's gonna stick to this glue. And see now it's sticking. So okay, so now we've gotten somewhere. Can you see that? I can't see it, so hopefully it looks good. And if it doesn't look good, I'm just gonna edit this part out. <laughs> but it's tacked down for the most part you know what you know what i'm gonna do i am going to take this elastic band right here and i'm going to tie this down real quick because i just need this thing to be down for real y'all i'm struggling right now i'm gonna let this elastic band sit on my head for a minute i am just actually really impressed with this hair right now like let's have a little let's have a moment so first impressions of the hair so far y'all is that it's really pretty i've never had water wave hair before i was like oh let me try it normally i get deep wave but i was like let me try this water wave so it's 28 inches i think it's 250 percent density if i'm not mistaken obviously all the links will be in the description box i paid for this wig with my own money let's just be clear i paid for this wig 
wig with my own money. I got it from Miss Lynn Hair. I've never ordered from them before, but the hair is super soft. Um, I haven't gotten a lot of tangling. I haven't gotten a lot of shedding. So I'm actually impressed with this hair. And on, this hair is actually really thick. It's giving me something. It's giving me Puerto Rican. I spelled Puerto Rican in this, Rican. It's very much giving me Puerto Rican vibes. So I'm excited, y'all. The only thing about it is I normally like to get 13 by six frontals on my wigs but this one only was available in a 13 by 4 and because i had to cut off a good amount of the lace in the front i don't have that much parting space to play with so i don't even really know what i'm gonna do with this hair honestly when it comes to styling it i will wet it down a little bit put some conditioner in it so this has been an elastic band intermission i'm about to take my elastic band off i'm gonna go ahead and just start cutting off some of this extraness that doesn't need to be there i'm gonna be using a razor and i'm just gonna go ahead and razor it off that you can see what we're working with i'm gonna cut this little extra piece at the bottom because we don't need it oh my god it's coming together i'm so excited so i've just cut off the extra um lace that was on there i'm gonna go ahead and cut the other side and then when we get back that's when we can go in and do some detail and like we're just gonna have to go back and either cut some stuff or re-glue some stuff down so far so good all right y'all so while y'all were gone she started to act up this side started to lift up but that's perfectly fine because this is the stage where i like to go in and double check my work make sure that all my lace is laid down as you guys can see I have some lifting on the sides where it's not fully glued down. So I just go back in and I just glue it back down, girl. I made sure to not put too much glue. It is way easier to just put down some glue and glue down some lace than it is to remove lace glue that's already there. Not that it's not fixable, but it's just a pain. Like it's a pain in the butt. So you don't even want to deal with that. So I'm going to keep going through and cutting off pieces or laying down pieces that need to be laid down. All right, y'all. So I have everything glued down and if it's not glued down, I cut it off, girl. So I have everything the way I want it to be. Now I'm gonna be taking some hairspray. I'm gonna be using the Sebastian Shaper Plus spray. Um, I've really been liking this spray. I got it from, I think it was either Ross or CJ Maxx. And I'm just placing it right there on the lace. All right, so now that I have my elastic band on, I'm just about to turn on my hot comb because we're about to get into the styling portion and the baby hair portion. So I have to have that hot comb on, honey. I'm gonna go through my blow dryer on a warm setting and I'm just gonna go ahead and blow it, try to get everything as melted in as possible. All right, y'all, so I'm back. I'm about to take off my elastic band and we're about to start hot combing. We're about to start doing edges and we about to start getting into it. We're gonna go ahead and pull our edges out. foam today to just mold them and then I'm gonna go back and put my product on them so I'm gonna be using the Nairobi rapid shine foaming mousse and I'm just gonna use my little comb and just do my edges real quick <music> So 
basically what I'm going to be doing for these baby hairs is I'm going to be going in with my Nairobi and then I'm going to spray it with my Sebastian Shaper spray, blow dry it, and then take a little bit, like a tiny little bit of my Style Factor Edge Booster. <music> y'all so 50 million hours later i'm finally done with my edges and like i told y'all before i had to cut a lot of this wig off to make it fit to my head our parting space is very very limited of what we can do but i think i'm just gonna kind of do this clip over a little vibe like to the side nothing major and then we're just gonna refresh the curls all right y'all i'm gonna try to speed through this because my phone keeps running out of storage so i'm just gonna go through and hot comb i what i was telling y'all is where's my comb <sighs> Oh, <laughs> okay. So I like to spray my Sebastian Shaper spray inside the comb like this. And then I'm just gonna comb the hair back. And this allows you not to use too much. Smooth it out, just make sure everything looks flat and pretty. Oh my God. I feel like I'm racing against the clock because I feel like any minute now it's gonna be like, your iPhone storage is full. And you know what? You know what's the weird thing that I don't understand? Maybe somebody can explain it to me in the comments. How am I buying all this extra iCloud storage? I'm paying like $5 every month to have this extra iCloud storage. So why my phone always running out of storage? Like, what am I actually even paying for? I'm about to stop paying them. Like, Apple, stop playing. I really just need to get a camera. That's coming soon. Hopefully I can get a camera soon. But until then, I'm just gonna have to keep rocking out on my phone. But it's like, dang, like, that me some slack. I'm trying to give the people content. Like, and you're telling me my, my phone is full. My storage is full, like, okay. Let me make my video, you feel me? So now that I'm done running my mouth and I feel like my hair is relatively flat, I'm gonna definitely spray it with some water. I don't know if I'll put any product in it. Should I? What do y'all think? It's not like y'all can answer me. I'm about to put some mixed chicks leave-in conditioner in the hair because I just want to see what it does. But yeah, I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna go through and um, detangle the hair, spray it down, add some leave-in conditioner. <music> I might go in and diffuse it, but I'll let you guys know, or you guys will just end up seeing. So I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So we are at the end of the video. This is the completed look. This is what we came up with. So it's really cute. I really like this wig. I was gonna diffuse it, but then I was like, I was like, I don't have time for that. So I didn't diffuse it. I went ahead and detangled it, added the Mixed Chicks Leave-In Conditioner, and I just called it a day. Like, I just called it a day. This hair is really, really cute. I was honestly scared to do this install because like I told you guys, this was my first time customizing it like this. And I think it turned out really, really good. Like, let's look at the mouth. I think we did a pretty good job, you guys, and I couldn't have done it without you. I totally, totally, totally recommend this hair if you are willing to do a little bit of extra work. I mean, if you have a regular hairline, it might not be as hard for you, but for my low hairline girls, this might be something that you're gonna have to put your back into. Like, you're gonna have to figure out how you can customize it to your hairline. But honestly, now that I've done it, it really wasn't that hard. So I want you guys to know that it's super easy, and I'm actually gonna be making a video on that soon, on how I customize my wigs for my low hairline so if you have a low hairline stay tuned for that if you don't have a low hairline girl you better stay tuned and watch the video and see how I do it anyway but anyways yes you guys this is the end of the video I want to thank you guys so so much for watching if you haven't already go ahead and like comment and subscribe on this video or subscribe to my channel and like comment on this video <laughs>
and I really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for all the love that you showed me. You guys showed mad, mad love on my last video and I highly, highly appreciate it. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much, you guys, for supporting me. You guys are like, you guys are becoming like my family. Like, I love talking to you guys in the comments and all that good stuff. So drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think of this wig. Thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. Have a good one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.